President Harris made history today as the first female, black and South Asian to reach the second highest political office in the land. And the new administration is also ushering in the most diverse cabinet in U.S. history. President Biden will have the most women in a cabinet with 46 percent and the most racially diverse cabinet as well. Half from traditionally underrepresented groups. A big difference compared to the Trump administration, which was 83 percent white. And we're seeing the most LGBTQ cabinet level members as well, with three identifying as gay or transgender. Romney Smith takes a look at the new administration. President Biden has tapped three high-level federal employees who are also sexual minorities. Pete Buttigieg will become the Transportation Secretary, Dr. Rachel Levine will become the Assistant Secretary of Health and Human Services, and Sean Skelly on the Department of Defense Transition Team. Diversity consultant Chichi and Kemery says this is progress. That you can be elevated to these positions without being tokenized. You can be elevated to these positions and other people, allies, advocates, accomplices will also notice your good works. Their jobs highlight their knowledge, skill and expertise. And Phyllis Harris with LGBT Cleveland says it will have a big impact on young people. Little LGBT kids who are questioning or who know who they are, um, they're learning and they're watching and they're, and they're seeing themselves. And, you know, these um, um, recent assignments are a testament to what is possible. Bethany Studenik with Enlightened Solutions says some adults will also have to adapt to accepting these new leaders. This is about respecting people's humanity. And it's about respecting their ability to assert their own freedom, right? So even if you have different beliefs about this, even if you have different thoughts about this, this is not about you. Even with this progress, Harris says the LGBT community has a long way to go for equal rights. It is not going to change overnight. Um, there's still going to be work to do. We still don't have federal protections. But for now, she celebrates. I'm feeling black joy, black queer joy, um, black Cleveland queer joy. Now, President Biden promised when he was a candidate that he would have the most diverse staff ever, and it looks like he's trying to deliver on that promise. Okay. Rodney Smith, thank you.